Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the White Laboratory. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. With that being said, the game is going to be out in about five days' time as of the date of this recording, so what you're looking at here more or less is the finished product, or maybe a last-minute patch or two. So what is the White Laboratory? Well, based on what I've played so far, this is a tower defense game, but it's a pretty darn awesome one. You'll be able to conjure different blocks together in order to make your own towers. In games like the Fence Grid or Soul Survivor, the game gives you all of the towers that you need. They're pre-built for you. Just simply put them down and watch them shoot. In this game, you actually put different blocks together to form different combination of towers. And how well you do that will determine how successful you are in actually completing the level. I have to admit, I've played for roughly an hour off camera. I actually failed the tutorial <laughs> just because the game doesn't tell you the strategy in dealing with some of these enemy blocks that are going to be coming at you. It just shows you the basics. It's up to you to figure out, okay, if I do this and this and this with the blocks, that'll be more effective. Or another thing that I had to get used to in most tower defense games you weren't allowed to block the path of the enemies as they were trying to reach your tower. In this game, you can. So as long as the ground is buildable or you can put a block on it, you'll be able to block them completely and halt them in their tracks. And that way your towers can do their thing. So here's a look at the main menu. There's sandbox, load game, credits on the bottom, settings, start new game on the right, and then quit on the bottom right. Settings menu. There's a lot of different things going on here. Pause the video at any point should you want to see these screens in greater detail. Uh, player side color, there's white and black. Um, I'm doing white just because it's easier for me to see. Interface, uh, block panel delay, action button sensitivity, colorblind mode, use custom grade colors. It's always fun. Uh, keys, I'm just using uh, space bar and uh, left mouse click. Um, on occasion, I am using left control to move entire towers at once. Otherwise, you just simply move parts out of the tower. Audio, sound effects, music sliders, GUI volume, that kind of thing. Graphics, screen resolution, V-Sync, windowed mode, depth of field, graphics quality. There's some advanced options here. Blur quality, I'm actually going to turn that down. I didn't really have an issue with any sort of uh, vertigo or anything like that. Normally I turn any sort of blur off just because moving the camera around usually makes me sick, but I'm going to just turn that down slightly, even though it didn't really affect me. Okay, so, um, I do have a level that I'm already playing. I quit midway so I can show you a little bit around, but I have to warn you, there's no pause button. There is a way to slow down time with the space bar, but there's no way to stop. Now, this is like I want to say the second or third level of the, I guess, the experimental stages. If I go to start new game, there's experiments and then there's survival. Um, I didn't get to survival yet. I'm still on experiments. I completed initial prototypes that took me 20 minutes and two playthroughs to get done. And then now there's geomet uh, geometry combinations. That's going to take 60 minutes to complete. I don't know if I'll ever get to that, but I'll show you where I'm at, and then hopefully you'll get a taste as to what you're in for. All right, so let's go ahead and load up my saved game here. Okay, I'm going to hold in sp space bar, slow down time. So the way this works, you're going to have enemy blocks or circles or spheres or whatever these are. I'll just call them parallelograms or whatever, but they're going to be coming at you, and they're going to be trying to reach your base back here. It can take some hits, but uh, if it gets through and too much damage, then it's it's done and over. You lose, uh, and you have to start over. Um, some of these blocks that you destroy, the ones that are flashing, they will um, be usable, reusable. So as they get destroyed, you'll be able to drag them around and use them as your own. Like this one here, if I click and hold the left mouse button, I can move it around, I can attach it to things, I can stack them on top of each other. I can put maybe, this is this is a shoot tower. The higher up the sphere, 
on this tower, the wider the range, but at the same time, the longer it takes for the, the, the bullet to get to its target. So sometimes high, high up isn't the way to go. In fact, some of these... Some of these levels have tutorial slideshows that you can mess with. Ballistics, good to lower targets. Uh, fact, shorter range, somewhere mid-air, ground level. Uh, it just, yeah, you, this is, like I said, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot of strategy going on here. It's not a typical tower defense game, so you're going to have to play around with this for quite a bit of time to figure out, okay, this is the best strategy for this. This is the best strategy for this. So, typical tower defense, but not. Alright, now the little orange lines, that's the path of the enemy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. But I'll go ahead and put maybe... You know what? I'll keep that there. So, like I said, you can... You can block... You can block these enemy... Well, pieces by putting other blocks in its way. Each block has a health bar. Uh, if you look above the cube I selected there, there's a health bar, there's an energy. Energy is needed to power the thing. When you move a, a cube around or a piece around, it takes time to reconnect to the network. This Right now, this one's fully charged. But if I were to move this sphere, say from here over to here, it's going to take some time for it to charge up and actually become usable. And different, different blocks do different things, like these circular ones spin around in circles. And the faster that your towers are moving, the more it shoots. Not as accurately, but it, these, these here become rapid fire. These circles spinning around here, they become rapid fire, but on occasion they miss. So you have to choose which, which approach you want to take. I just unlocked these lasers. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work. Um, let's do... I mean, I could put this... I mean, this probably isn't the best idea, but I could put this laser up here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. The more weight you add to this contraption, the slower it becomes. Alright, so let's see. Is there a... Okay, I'm not... Oh, what's this back here? What in the world is this? Oh, wow, this is an enemy... Enemy train shooting at me. I've never seen this before. This is cool. Um, let's put that here for now, I guess. And then we'll move it later. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of, lots of stuff going on here. Let's put that here. You have to grab recyclable blocks before they fall off the, the map. Sometimes they'll fall off the map and you won't be able to use them. So if you see explosions like that, you want to grab grab what you can before you lose them completely. All right, let's do this. Um, no one's coming this way now. So maybe I'll put this here. There. Bullets cannot shoot through blocks, so you have to give them line of sight. Otherwise, they'll just shoot. Like, sometimes if you put a turret too high up, there's like a blind spot. A blind spot, rather. So, if a piece were... If an enemy piece were to come to this square that I've hovered over, this one up top here may not be able to shoot it. It'll, it'll shoot, more than likely, the block that it's sitting on. Actually, you know what? Put that over here. Again, we may have to move some of this stuff around. This this may not be ideal. But if you want to um, move things all at once, like let's say if I were to left click right now and move, I'd be moving the top circle. This this top circle. Holding and left control allows you to bulk move. Note the tower range has become higher once I've done that. Oh, we lost something over here. Um, let's do this. Let's put that there. Uh, I don't know. 
know what that is, but okay. Maybe flying units, possibly? Yeah, it looks like they're flying units of some kind. Next train, and okay, so we may want to put some units by the train here, just to, just to be able to shoot it. Let's do... Put these too high. You can interfere with your own block, so it's a good idea to try and... Well, that looks rather nasty there. Put these lasers out like that. Alright. Fun. Trying to make the most out of everything. Okay. Actually, more... Okay, so this... This guy's going this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put maybe... These blocks to run interference. Again, you can... You can stop them in their tracks for a limited time. But these towers will take damage. This one's actually almost dead. Note the health is only three on that sucker. Oh. Nice, I'll take that. Uh, where am I putting it? You could even put them on the side, although the range is kind of crappy if I do that. Huh. Well, let's move this one out of the way. Okay, so now I don't have enough block pieces. So I may have to add to existing... Exist what if I put this on top like this? Yeah, note this thing is hitting its own block. Sometimes. Oh, wow! <laughs> Beat the crap. Okay, there we go. We got some blocks. Alright, let's go ahead and move them... I noticed that it's good to... You got, you got to be as efficient as possible. You have to make use of everything. These levels are quite difficult. Especially at first when you don't know what you're doing. Got him. Oh, nasty. Okay. Uh, okay, we want that one for sure. You can put that on top of maybe... Oh, did I just lose some towers over here? I think I did. Alright, well, let's do that. I don't want to lose that, so let's put that there. Lots of spinny thingies. Okay, um... I still need more base blocks. Not gonna help me out here. We do... Okay, we need to stop these guys in their tracks. I'm gonna put this here for the moment. Wow! Well, that didn't work. Okay, there's a couple of... Okay, so let's put that there. And that there. A 
let's do something like that. Put that there, maybe. I always try and keep a few blocks around to stop them. Especially those fast ones. They're rather nasty. Well, this one, I, I, you know what? Oh, interesting. So I can actually target? Alright. Um, not sure how that's going to work. Target block. Let's see if that works. Right click, right click. Alright, so... Right click, right click. Oops, didn't want to do that. No, I'm shooting my wrong... Okay, yeah. Again, try, trying to get used to everything is fairly difficult. Alright, select, right click, right click. Well, that, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Laser. Left click. You gotta be- apparently friendly fire is a thing. Nice, that's one. survivor don't he's dead I'll take that. Um, let's do that and that. Uh, we have no circle there. Right. Guess I should just left them there. Ooh. Oh, grab, grab, grab. use one of these then. Oh, oh, oh. Guess another train try to make its way through here. Oh, more lasers. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so we've got these blocks back here. Let's go ahead and just do 
something like that. We'll save some for... Oh, can't do that. We'll save some for block... I, I, again, I like to save some blocks for blocking as necessary. Alright, let's put that here. Try and kill him on the way out. Enemy reinforcements arriving. That's not good. Oh, hello. Take that. Um, let's do that. That. These green ones have more strength than these red ones, so I I try to use the green ones for blocking whenever possible. Okay, let's try that again. Let's left click, then right click, right click. Those lasers are pretty awesome, I gotta say. Here they come. Left click, right click, right click. Left click, right click, right click. Well, I did the trick. Some are getting through. Okay, left click. This one's gonna get through, no doubt, so let's target. That one, these look larger, so I want to switch targets here. Left click. Right click. Right click. Left click. Okay. Okay, so these guys didn't follow my orders. Let's try that again. Left click. Attack that. Location secure. So once you're actually done with a particular map, you can actually take stuff with you to the next level. So now it comes, you have to figure out, okay, what's the best way to, there's four spaces here. So what you may have to do is create the weirdest contraptions you can think of just for the sake of moving them, getting them to move to the next area. Then you can unpack them, so to speak. I'm going to try and move everything if I can. Like if I did... <laughs> I don't know if that's going to survive or not, but we'll find out. Um, let's move that here. I want to try and move everything.
This this is gonna look rather odd when it's all said and done. We'll worry about how it looks later. So far, I have not had pieces fall off in transit, so I'm hoping this will be okay. Looks like we'll be able to move everything. One, two. There we go. I. Yeah, not pretty. Not pretty. So, we want to click advance. Uh oh. Try reducing the board structure mass. 40 power is needed. Um. Alright, well, apparently this is going to be too much. But what I could do, I'm going to save it here and figure this out later. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to put towers onto this platform, and then you'll be able to move all of that stuff uh, whenever you finally get a load that is appropriate. So, um, all in all, the game is pretty well put together, but it is difficult. There is a learning curve associated with it. It's not a typical tower defense game. Just put a tower here, put a tower there, put a tower here, and, you know, strategically hope for the best. There's a lot more going on with the kind of towers you can build, and you may come up with, um, you may come up with different tower builds and different tower designs that you find will be a lot more effective than what you were doing previously, so you're going to be learning as you play as well. So that was the White Laboratory. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll